my goodness, guys. My <laughs> bathroom <laughs> is so messy right now because I am attempting to go through my skincare <laughs> and remove things that I will not be using, but I'm just keeping everything. That isn't helpful. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all having a fantastic week. We are here today, not doing anything to do with skincare. It's just I stepped on some things as I was filming here. Anyway, we're gonna be testing out some celebrity must-haves. These are products that celebrities have deemed to be just fantastic, over the top, just the best of the best, cream of the crop. And so I wanted to test them out today and just see what the fuss is all about, if it's actually worth the hype. Some of the products I have used before, so I can kind of talk about like long-term what I think of them. And uh, I found some new products as well, so I thought it'd be really fun to test them out together. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. New videos here every single Thursday. Come and join us. And now let's dive into the first product, which is why we're in the bathroom to begin with, because it's an eye mask that is a favorite of Jessica Alba. And if there's anyone that has beautiful skin, it's Jessica Alba. The girl does not age. And the product is by Grace and Stella. It is an eye mask that is an anti-wrinkle, energizing, Eye mask. I bought these ones off of Amazon. It has like 2,200 four and a half star reviews. People seem to love it. It's supposed to brighten the under eye area, kind of depuff, remove any dark circles. You can put them in the fridge if you want. You can put them on for as long as you want. It has like, I don't know, hyaluronic acid. It's supposed to have vitamin C, just like a bunch of really good for you ingredients. And they're supposed to be just fantastic under the eyeballs. So we're gonna do what I normally do whenever I'm wearing sort of like under eye masks is I will put those on and then I do my eye makeup afterwards. Cause like, you know, get that done, get them to soak in and then we'll go into like the rest of the makeup, you know. So let's open these up. So here's what they look like. Packaging is pretty basic. Let's open them up. They're nice and bright and shiny gold. I want gold things under my eyes. So let's do this. Ah, oh no, took them all the wrong way. That's weird. I took them out with the packaging face up and they were upside down. That's weird to me. All right, so we have one on right there. Oh, so slippery. <laughs> Get this other guy on. Ooh. Oh, it's really hard to do with one hand. This right here, this is what they look like on under the eyes. They feel good thus far. We'll see how much they like slide around. You know, that's like my primary concern with anything of this feel but so far so good they feel fine let's go and put on some makeup also worth noting that jessica alba really liked these because she has sensitive skin and she said that these feel really good and that was a common thing for a lot of people on amazon at least had mentioned that they were really nice and they deep up the area and they felt really good especially if you have sensitive skin let's just park you right here hang out with me for a sec so before we get into a celebrity makeup product that's a favorite, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of eyeshadow because I want to. All I've been doing recently is using the Natasha Denona, the bronze palette, and just like slathering some bronzy shade on my lid. Like that, you know, get that on there. Another favorite product of celebrities, and this is just like across the board, is the Simple Modern Tumbler. This thing, I actually bought this to test for another video and I'm obsessed, I cannot stop using it. And it's actually, it's making me drink water. I, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. The, the, the rumors are true, you do drink water when you have this. I don't know what it is, maybe it's just because it's pretty, but I've been drinking so much more water than I normally would. And I've been putting cucumber and ice in here and it's fantastic. I actually bought one for my sister-in-law and she's been obsessed with it. Hers is actually for whatever reason, a little different than mine is. And they're supposed to hold a lot of ice in here and keep things cold and keep the ice in there all day long. And hers does that, mine doesn't which is weird, but it does keep everything cold. It just doesn't like, you know, keep the ice in there. So I'm a little annoyed by that for myself, but really happy that Lauren, my sister-in-law had a great experience with hers. And it seems like most people like the ice lasts literally all day, like morning to night. I don't know what to tell you. It comes in amazing colors and I'm obsessed with it. I get the hype. Now let's go on to a mascara. And this mascara is a favorite of Gabrielle Union and it is a L'Oreal one. It's a drugstore one. And it's weird that I feel like I haven't tried this one because I feel like I try most, if not all of the L'Oreal mascara. So I don't know how this one's the vibe, but I do not believe that I've tried it. It is the Bambi Eye Mascara. It's not super new, but it's supposed to give you like a wide eye kind of effect, lengthening a little volume that like, lash separated, non clumpy kind of effect. And she seems to really like it. So I'm gonna give it a shot and see if I too enjoy it. Eight out of 10 women agree it does not clump upon application. All right, well that's good. Two people though were like, yeah, it's clumpy, yeah. So let's like, what? 
zoom in here a little bit and see if this mascara lifts up to the height. Oh my goodness, almost forgot to curl my lashes. That is crucial. I have like big wide eye Bambi eyes. Otherwise, how do they, by the way, get away with using the name Bambi? Like there's even an outline of a deer. Isn't that stuff under like copyright law? I don't know. All right, lashes are curled and quick update on the under eye. I forgot what they were called, masks. They are slipping a little, you can see underneath the eye, but not too bad in terms of grip. I would say they're a little better than the pixie ones, which tend to slide a lot for me, but I have other ones like the Wonder Beauty ones, which tend to like lock in under the eyes a little better. All right, mascara time. Okay, the wand has some longer bristles and some shorter bristles. I think my understanding is that way it catches kind of all of the lashes and you really get some nice, you know, volume. <laughs> Does anyone else drink water and then immediately feel like just a, a health queen? It's like, yeah, I drink water, don't worry about it. I like, you know, exercise and use, <laughs> but we're getting that. The formula isn't super wet or heavy. I'm trying to figure out because it's more like oval shape where I want to apply all of the mascara. Oh, I already got mascara on my lid. Mer. I would say that so far I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere close to the amount of volume that this girl got. Look at this, before and after. I feel like that's a lot of volume. I don't see that. Only one coat though. Let's do two on each eye and then we'll see. I'm always very self-conscious when I'm on camera applying mascara. I'm like, we'll keep lips together. I feel like we all make weird faces when we put on mascara, right? All right, that's one coat. We'll see if two coats makes a difference. Here we go. Two coats on the eyes. What do we think? My thought is this is a very light mascara and despite it being a light mascara, it is kind of weighing down my lashes here. I will need to recurl them, which I typically do anyway. So we'll see what it looks like after that. So far, I do like it, but I'm holding final thoughts until I like see all that, you know, done up. From a first impression standpoint, I still feel like I like the Air Volume Mega Mascara from L'Oreal better, but I'm also a very dramatic mascara person. All right, <laughs> zoomed you back out. And I also recurled my lashes and I think it does look a little better. What do you guys think? You think that's like worth it? you like, yay yeah or nay. I mean, it is a drugstore mascara, so like it is fairly affordable. Oh, it's already drooping. For whatever reason, this lash right here just doesn't want to stay curled. Anyway, now let's take off these little eye mask things. Ah, ooh, ah. Oh, I mean, it's very shiny. It does feel like it did depuff, which is nice. I don't see any change to like under eye circles or anything, but it did do a good job depuffing. I will give it that. Like it is not as <laughs> puffy under the eyes. I don't know if you know this about me, but I don't sleep well. So that's nice. Like I will continue to use those. That surprised me. I wasn't expecting to like those very much. <laughs> okay, now I wanna talk about a product that I saw on TikTok that has been a celebrity favorite for years dermatologists love it. Like people are obsessed with this product. I've never tried it before. Also, I'm going to butcher this name, so I'm very sorry. Is the Embryolis, is the Embryo, em, Embryolis, Embryoliasi? Okay, I think it's the Embryolis cream concentrate. And this is supposed to be like the reason that celebrities have this like glowy, beautiful skin on the red carpet. It can be a moisturizer, a primer, even a moisturizing mask if you want to put like a thick layer on. But putting this on will help any cakiness or dry spots or if you tend to get like separation or that like crusty makeup, this is supposed to fix that. So this apparently is a combination of like an emollient oil as well as shea butter, beeswax, aloe vera, soy protein, just a bunch of stuff in here. I feel like this may be a little bit thick for your skin if you have oily skin. I could, I could be wrong. That is my guess though with this one, but I am excited to test it out. Ooh, okay, very thick, white, creamy consistency. That's what it looks like on my hand. It looks like you're in the mineral sunscreen. That's what it looks like. Ooh, it smells a little like my grandma. That is exactly what that's about. That, maybe my grandma used this. So I'm going to slather this stuff on my face. Oh, it feels so, oh, it feels like, forget the forehead. It feels so nice on my skin. I haven't put on any moisturizer or anything on yet. Oh, my skin feels so nice. Definitely a heavy moisturized kind of a feeling and my skin is like very pleased with this right now. But if you have oily skin, I don't think you'll like this. I would steer clear. 
rub some into my hands. I mean, why not? Ooh, okay. It feels good, which is a good step. We'll see what it looks like once you put like makeup and stuff on and like maybe I'll change my mind. I don't know. I'm just gonna throw on some foundation here over and just see how it looks with that product used as a primer. Today, by the way, I'm going back to my pure Foreign one, I haven't used this one in ages. Oh, I forgot how much I love this one on my skin. It looks ridiculous, ridiculous. Once we finish this, we're going into a blush. And I don't know if you've heard about this blush that broke the internet. It is a pricey product. This is not a joke. This product is sold out everywhere. No one has been able to get their hands on it. I think the brand website still carries some, but probably not in the shade that ha everyone's been flipping out over. So it's the Dior Backstage Blush. And of course, as with many makeup products that break the internet, Kylie Jenner mentioned this one. And she talked about how much she loved this product and how it gave her this beautiful, like glowy skin and everyone out and bought it. And I don't have the color that she used, which is this really bright, almost fluorescent pink shade, but I do have the coral and I'm very much a coral blush kind of girl, but like, I feel like we'll still get the same effect. Let's see what the product's like, you know? This is the Color Awakening Universal Blush, Natural Healthy Glow. Love coral blush. Honestly, so, so underrated. But first, quickly, we're gonna do a little uh, bronzer. Actually, this is another celebrity favorite in general, Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Bronzer and brush. Honestly, at first I was very like, eh, whatever, about the brush, but I really like the brush. I'm not usually like a big like, wow, this brush is incredible, but this, I really like this one. It really does give like a really soft airbrush kind of glow to the skin. It's really pretty. What is your one makeup product that you've been obsessed with recently? Like celebrity or not, like, I'm, I'm just genuinely curious. I'm kind of nosy. I'm really curious about what products you are obsessed with. The whole like, let me put you onto something level of awesome, you know? I feel like I need to like move on from bronzer, but I can't. I'm just, I'm obsessed, it's so pretty. Okay, blush time. <laughs> Saw my brush and I was like, what happened? It's just, it's a, it's a bronzing brush. It's supposed to be for like angles. Anyway, I had a moment where I thought I <laughs> ruined my brush. <laughs> Benji, don't scare me like that. Here we go. The infamous Dior blush. Is it everything that we've dreamed and more? Okay, we're layering. It's just like one layer. I didn't want to, you know, get too much all at once, you know? I don't know how intense it's gonna be. And I like things real blushy. So that's like the one side that, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I put a lot on, but like, it's really pretty. The color is nice. I'm not understanding the, the glow of it, but it's a really pretty soft coral shade. I'm telling you, if you haven't tried a coral blush yet, I highly recommend. Are you guys seeing like a, like a glow? Maybe I'm just not seeing it in this light. Maybe, I don't know, let me know. It's blending out beautifully. I need more bronzer, <laughs> don't judge me. But it's such a pretty look. Ooh, I'm using this more often. So it's just in my drawer. I'm so embarrassed that I'm using it. Sleeping on that one. That is gorgeous going into the everyday makeup. All right, now let's put on a little bit of some highlight and we're gonna go on to a favorite of Billie Eilish. And that is actually a product that I've used before and really like, and it is the Kapari Lip Glossy. This is a super rich, glossy kind of a product. You can use it as a cheek gloss, eye gloss, lip, whatever you want. Smells phenomenal. They have a whole bunch of different flavors and stuff too. This is the like, watermelon. Oh my gosh, it doesn't even say. It's this one, but it's a petroleum-free lip gloss. It doesn't feel sticky or heavy on your lips. It's, it has it? shea butter, coconut oil, squal squalane, I think it is. Just a lot of nourishing ingredients for your lips, and it doesn't feel gross, which I appreciate. So let's just do like a little lip color here. And then just layer a little bit of this on top. Oh, I have a bunch of these too. Like, look how glossy that is. Oh, it's just Ridiculous. Mmm. I mean, it does leave the applicator really messy. I should have should have done this like this instead. But it does a really good job sitting on top of your lips. You know, sometimes if you have dry lips, this just sort of enhances it. Anytime you use any sort of lip product, this like glides over it and makes everything look very smooth and even. And again, that high shine factor. 
I, I see why she likes them so much. It's really beautiful. I have a bunch of them. I have one in my purse, one in my junk drawer, in my kitchen. No, junk drawers, right? Oh, actually, while we finish up the makeup here, I feel like I just need to do a little setting in the tea zone. I have a jewelry favorite of uh, Kendall and Kylie. These are these particular hoops that they got off of Amazon. They are these ones right here. They're like bigger hoops. I've been wearing so much of like the little teeny, tiny little hoops. I haven't used big hoops in a long time. If I can open them, get big open. Oh, there we go. I want to know how heavy they are, what they look like, how they feel, how easy they are to put on. And also, are these going to hurt my ears? It's entirely possible. Ow! Got an aggressive latch at the back. Oh, they're cute. Okay, they're not too heavy, that's good. Can't promise they're not gonna hurt my ears an hour though, so we'll stay tuned for that. Got the other one in here. I hate when one earring goes in like perfectly and then the other one's like, nope, not gonna happen today. Why? Why you gotta be difficult? Okay, I think, I think I got it on. Okay, they're in. Again, so far so good, but stay tuned. Just need to do like a little a little set right in here, you know? Add a little eyeshadow underneath the eyes. I feel like that always opens up my eyes. Just makes the whole makeup look come together. And then I'm gonna set with a product that's my favorite. Not a celebrity, but I really like it. So I haven't done favorites in a while. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna include it. Because this setting spray, A, super cheap. B is basically like a dupe for the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. It is so good. It is this one right here by e.l.f. The Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. Up to 16 hour wear. Like my makeup does not budge when I use this and it it's not sticky tacky. It has a nice mist. I feel like with, with e.l.f. I always have like a love-hate relationship with them. Sometimes the mist is great. Sometimes it's a garden hose. This one is a really good one. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's put them on. So much on. And then I always like to dab over all the areas. I'm gonna press everything into my skin. I like so. I'm gonna get a little mascara on the lower lashes. Wow, look at us go. This is why my skin looks really good right now. It feels very hydrated. Excited about this, <laughs> this product. I feel like it's been around for years, but I'm gonna be using this a lot more often. Have you ever tried this before? Let me know, cause like, I have no idea. That, the blush, even the eye masks. Everything's been working today. I love when this happens. Quick update on my phone here because the camera is downstairs and I'm lazy. I just want to show you guys underneath the eyes. All of the mascara is speckling off right under my eyes. And it's been doing that like all day. I keep flicking it away. I'm like, I need to talk about this. It just keeps happening. So that is unfortunate, but everything else looks great. So quick little heads up. <laughs> Let me know what your favorite product was that we tried today. I feel like we tried a lot of really good ones and I'm excited. This is a good like everyday makeup look for me, but there were some good new products that I'm excited to continue to use. So let me know down below which one you're most excited about. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Check out these videos on the side in case you have missed any. Thank you so much as always for liking, subscribing, and doing all those things. It means so much to me. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.